Hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to share about the success story of an iron lady with a golden heart helen keller she was an american author a political activist and a lecturer but more than that she has been a role model for a lot of people when helen was just 19 months old she contracted an unknown illness which left her both deaf and blind and would completely change the way she would live the rest of her life her parents were determined to give their child the same feeling as that of a normal person so they started searching for a teacher and their search ended with them finding annie sullivan who would then go on to change helen's life forever She first started helping Helen by spelling words into her hands. The first word was doll that she had brought for Helen. Helen was finding it tough to realize that every word identifies an object, but the breakthrough moment came when she realized motions Annie made on her palm with cold water ran over the other palm symbolizing the idea of water. Helen felt extremely happy and she quickly demanded to know the names of all the familiar objects in her world. From then on, there was no looking back for Helen. And because of her determination and interest, she became the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree at the age of 24. Helen never considered her disability as a weakness. and always felt positive about herself she also started understanding other people by using sign languages and by reading their lips helen used her positivity gained and channelized them into becoming a successful speaker and a successful author her experiences shared became a source of motivation to a lot of people who became inspired with her life She would always maintain that a life without a vision is a blind life and would always encourage people to have positivity within them. Helen was a true advocate for people with disabilities. To continue with her good work, she along with George A. Kessler founded Helen Keller International Organization in 1915 which is devoted to research in health and nutrition. Five years later, she went on to find the American Civil Liberties Union, a non-profitable organization whose mission is to defend and preserve the individual rights and liberties guaranteed to every person of U.S. In the years to come, Helen continued her good work through various books and talks that she had. In 1964, the president Lyndon B. Johnson awarded Medal of Freedom, one of United States' two highest civilian honor. The following year, she was also elected to the National Women's Hall of Fame and the New York World's Fair. She died in her sleep in 1968 at her home, just weeks short of her 88th birthday. A service was held in her honor and post cremation her ashes were placed next to her companion Annie Sullivan. Helen's life was a true inspiration for every one of us and it teaches us a lesson that with determination we can achieve success in our life. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.